what I have here is a little platform game. So here's my little guy. He can run around, he can jump, he can die. <laughs> and the code for him is over here. So this code makes him run around, this makes him jump, this makes him collide with things. And down here, I've got some code for this little turtle. And the turtle's not doing much right now because I haven't finished writing his code, so I'm just going to do that right now. Say on each tick, his x position plus equals his direction times the time interval, 1 60th of a second, times some speed, which, um, I don't know, could be fast, could be slow. If it's negative, he walks backwards. <laughs> and these are all ideas I can use for other enemies, but um, I think turtles are supposed to be slow. So that's a good speed for a turtle. And then up here, I've got some code that says, when my guy collides with the turtle, he gets some y velocity, so he bounces into the air, and the turtle gets stomped. So that looks like that. And the turtle gets up after a bit. The problem is, I don't want the player to be able to get up here yet. I want the player to bounce off the turtle and go through this little passageway down here. And he'll have to go around and you know, solve puzzles and whatnot to come back and get the star. So the turtle is too bouncy right now. Now, of course, I can just turn that down in the code. And now I can try it. But now it's not bouncy enough. And so while it's nice that I can kind of adjust the code while it's running, instead of having to stop and recompile and find my place again, I can't immediately see what I need to see, which is whether or not he can make that jump. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce off the turtle and pause the game. So I pause the game, and now there's this slider up here, which lets me rewind through time. And now I can rewind to back before I made the jump, and change the code to make him less bouncy. And now when I move it forward, it's going to simulate forward using the same input controls, the same keyboard commands it recorded as before, but the new code. This is not good enough. <laughs> I need to be able to see changes immediately. I need to be able to see immediately whether or not my bounciness is correct. None of this stuff. And if you have a process in time and you want to see changes immediately, you have to map time to space. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce off my turtle, pause the game, and now hit this button here which shows my guy's trail. <laughs> so now I can see where he's been. And when I rewind, this trail in front of him is where he's going to be. This is his future. And when I change the code, I change his future. <laughs> so I can find exactly the value I need so that when I hit play, he slips right in there. So creators need to be able to see what they're doing. If you're designing something embedded in time, you need to be able to control time. You need to be able to see across time. Otherwise, you're designing blind. As I was playing with this, I noticed it's fun to play with gravity. So I can make gravity a little negative and he starts to float up in the air. <laughs> and I can kind of play with that and try to get him to try to stay there. And you could probably make an entire game around just just this mechanic here, this gravity manipulation. In fact, I bet I could fiddle with any part of this code and come up with an idea for a game. Even if I just, if I just comment out the first statement in the code, now my guy can't move left. He can only move right. Which sounds kind of silly, but Terry Kavanaugh actually made a beautiful game around that concept called Don't Look Back. <laughs> Terry Kavanaugh... Um, he made another really wonderful game, which you might have seen, called V, spelled as the letter V six times. And the way that game works is that you can't jump. Instead, you can only flip upside down, and you fall up instead of falling down. So it kind of works like this, that you'd fall, 
on the ceiling or you can walk around on the ground. And so you'd have these levels which kind of look like this and you'd kind of walk around and you have to learn how to navigate the terrain like this. And so if you had like a, something like that, you wouldn't be able to jump over it. You'd have to like flip over and flip over and you got an amazing amount of gameplay about, out of this concept. So again, being able to try ideas as you think of them. 